older, I am becoming a keener and keener gardener. This arrived exactly as is today. Next time I will order the express uh, variant of the post. This is a box of, well, let's open it up and have a look. Spyderco Endella, I thought was the appropriate knife. So this is something wet and soggy that I was actually quite surprised you could even get in the post. And it has somewhat of a pungent aroma. Uh, wife is going to be probably not thrilled that I'm unboxing this inside. Right, so I have a pretty strong, like nothing grosses me out. I don't get gaggy with like, you know, dead things, uh, disgraceful hoarder houses, all that sort of stuff. I've seen it all, um, nothing bugs me. But this could be slightly offensive to, um, you know, someone who's a bit more, you know, sheltered from the disgusting realities of life. Uh, that being said, this is a bag of composting worms. Uh, next time I'll certainly order the Express variant of this product because um, obviously sitting in a post office over the weekend uh, didn't do it any favours. So let's pick this up there, it was surrounded in cardboard. So it's in a bit of a, a kind of a sack. There we go, there we go. so it's in a little bag there. All this is um, compostable, but for the effect, I'll take them out of the, the bag, debag them. Uh, it smells, yeah, very, very rancid and rank and off, but that is kind of what you want. So here we are. This is the $70 batch of composting worms. Are they alive? Yes, they seem like they are still alive, which is good. Put them down like that. Oh, Trey is going to love that I used our casserole dish for this. I absolutely love it, but there we go. Let's have a good close up of these worms, eh? There we go, so it's in this bag here. And yeah, so it's about a kilo of worms. I think it's about 2,000 worms in here. I think that was what I ordered. And these are basically to turbocharge my composting bin. My composting bin has, um, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a layered, I've been pretty meticulous on how I've done it. I've done layers of uh, green and brown, so like your veggies and your leaves and stuff, and then layer of chicken crap with the straw that that usually comes stuck to, and then I've sort of built it upwards. Some lawn clippings in between as well. You know, just saying. I'm a pretty good composter, I think. And I've added some worms, but this is just the mother load of worms right here. Look at those, look at those guys in there. Oh yeah, all just writhing around and fucking in a big pile of dirt. Is there a more pure version of life than this? Rolling around blind, eating and fucking in the same big pile. Gotta respect the worm, you really do. What are the odds of me getting all this cleaned up before the wife gets home? Pretty good because I want to be married by the end of the day still. But um, yeah, really, really cool. I'm very happy with this. They all seem quite healthy and alive, even given that they've been sitting for you know a number of days in various post offices and stuff. Come, come away from Queensland, my little worm friends here. Let's go and put them in the compost pile and boost my garden health eventually. So this is me compost bin. Um, this, I'm just going to put this whole lot in the top and it's going to be probably the world's best compost. This is probably way too many worms that so you could probably put half in there and have a good effect as well. Made another little bed there. That's just some cabbages that are going to come up soon. And um, put some beans in over there on a trellis as well. And there's my chickens. They are, they are um, downgraded in space for a moment because they were getting their heads through and picking apart all my beans. I've reinforced the mesh, but you know, Put them in timeout for a while and hopefully it sends a strong message to these completely brainless birds that i do love all right let's get this guy open so this should look pretty okay so this is my my compost uh this top layer is yeah mainly sort of i've have turned it recently with the pitchfork there mainly chicken shit and um the straw that it comes in and then underneath you'll just find yeah just starting to get scraps of garden uh, veggie waste and things like that so these guys, 
Awesome. Don't need to do anything else, but add them in here. There is enough moisture being generated um, from this, uh, just from the stuff inside it. So you don't really need to add any water or anything like that. Having the lid on, you see you get this sort of condensation in the top there generally means that you've got enough. So these guys will sit on the top. I'll get them out of the light. They hate the light. Get them out of the light, cover them up. And we'll come back in a couple of days and they should all be making their way south down the big delicious compost pile. So the cool thing about worms is that even if some of them are dead in there, they leave eggs that just kind of lay dormant until it's time for them to hatch. And the eggs are like, kind of like seeds from plants. Like they'll sit for seasons. And then just when the conditions are right, when they get a bit of moisture and a bit of food again, the little baby worms come out again. That's why when you have them living in your butt, or your gut, they're so hard to get out. Like you swallow those worms that get under your fingernails or whatever. Not that these composting worms are the worms that live in your tummy, but the life cycle is fairly similar. That's why when you get them under your fingers, you can have a dormant worm egg under your finger if you know, you're digging in the garden or something, and then gets into your tummy, moisture, food, out they come. So, very cool. Um, also, I've been still enjoying the Spyderco and Della as much as I knock it. It's a very good utilitarian garden knife. This thing's absolutely knackered in terms of being just, well, just heavily used, I suppose. It's quite dull at the moment, but I've been cutting it up in bags of compost and other even more terrible things as you've seen, and it's doing okay. Sorry I've been making many videos, to be honest. I've just not been feeling it. Um, I've been just doing other things. I've I'm getting some um, renovations done on the back of the house. I've just had to do some gardeny stuff as well. And there's just a lot of noise pretty much around all the time. Plus I work full time, so sorry about that. Um, thanks for hanging in there, especially your Patreons. I hate having a couple of week gap between my vids. Um, I did shoot a couple of videos as well and I'm just in kind of that slump where it's a bit like, uh, I just wasn't happy with them. And so I'll, go, I'll work on those again later and they just sort of sat on my desktop and never got worked on. So it's just a bit of a lull, but it's always a bit of a roller coaster with me on this channel. So <laughs> thanks for staying. Thanks for staying put. Um, what else do you might want an update on? Ada is super old and she kind of sucks. So she's just having a little winter, you know, little autumn years, uh, mostly inside. Uh, she's completely deaf as far as I can tell, or very close to it. We were always debating with Ada, is she deaf or is she just an asshole? Like, does he just ignore us or is she deaf? Because huskies are assholes, everyone knows that. So yeah, um, I think she's deaf. And yeah, she's just all slow and doddery and she, the days of yeeting around are long gone. Um, yeah, she just look and looks for a place to lie down most of the time. And to be honest, this is a really nice stage of the dog life cycle because she's completely house trained, really well mannered dog, never causes any shit with the cats. But um, yeah, she's just, you can just see it on her now. She is old. So we'll see how much longer she goes along for. Hey, Ada. Can you hear me? Can you sort of hear me? Ada, 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 Ada. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like she's there. <laughs> anyway. Egg. They sit along here at night. And so of course they shit along there all night. Ooh, good egg hole today. Maybe yesterday's too. But this is the stuff that goes in the compost. I just gather it up in here and uh, water it down a little bit and in it goes. The other day, I just mindlessly picked one of these chilies and ate it and I almost died. I'm so bad with hot food. Um, it just a complete brain fade. I was like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. These are so damn hot and I'm not a chili guy, so maybe it's nothing to a, a chili guy. How do you know if someone's a chili guy? Don't worry, they'll fucking tell you. But um, yeah, wow. But good for making oil. I make an oil out of them and then spray it on my apple trees to stop the kangaroos from eating them because the kangaroos come in the night and they strip my little baby apple trees. Congrats to these ladies for regular ovulations. Good job. Tip of the hat. Round of applause. Where is the awful chicken? She's actually getting a bit better, the awful chicken. She's growing her feathers back. She was like featherless a while back. 
She's still got no tail feathers, but she'll get there. These guys are not giving her as hard a time anymore. War in Ukraine, global pandemics, increased costs of living. Some Sumerians started farming 10,000 years ago, and now here you are in all kinds of debt. And we humans think we have all the answers. I didn't ask for this, did you? But what can we do about it? Why not be a worm? Worms. Live in a big pile of fuck. Roll around in your food. Piss and shit everywhere. And you still make everything you are near even better. Be a worm. It's life. Purified. <laughs>